Upfront and Outspoken with Bob Williams. If you love the Constitution, man is not free unless government is limited. If you love freedom, as government expands, liberty contracts. If you believe in personal responsibility, if you believe America is still the greatest nation on earth, then get ready for an experience you'll never forget. This is Upfront and Outspoken. Here's your host, Bob Williams. And welcome back. This is Upfront Outspoken. Of course, I'm your loudmouth host, Bob Williams, with you here on this Monday. On the phone with me, had him on recently, had him on Tuesday. Then after I got out the air with him, boy, did he get some great news. Thanks to everybody out there. I got to thank everybody. I'm talking about the spearhead, the man behind Help Jessica Walk Again campaign. I'm talking about none other than James Naper. Welcome back to the program, James. Glad to have you. Good morning. How you doing? I'm I'm doing pretty good. I mean, uh, I just I, I just had a very exciting uh, half hour with Jimmy Payne. I, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. But but here's the catch. I'm bringing you on today for let, give us the update. How's Jessica doing? She's actually today, this very day getting ready to uh, take that little trip to, to Atlanta. Today is her day, and uh, it was postponed Friday due to uh, small matters. But at the end of the day, today is her transport day. Sounds like she's doing good. She rested all evening yesterday mostly and kind of secluded herself with the dad and tried to, you know, put a little peace in the, in the room there and, tranquility of just rest and uh sounds like she's ready to go this morning and i look forward to hearing that they have arrived in atlanta before well before the before the sun goes down i expect them to be where they need to be yeah i I assume that they're going to probably get her transported as quickly as possible so she can start her rehab you know and, and our thoughts and prayers are definitely out there with jessica and her dad you know, you've been working so hard. You've been working so hard to to make the fundraising event. The one is coming up here on February the seventh at the Doghouse Saloon right there in Nashville. Come together. Now you've also uh, told me that you have uh, Skype capabilities, so people are going to be skyping in. You know, can you give us a, a kind of a, a a sneak peek as to who already has said that? Hey, I'm going to be there. Yeah, I think we could probably probably give a few names they've committed. Uh, but first of all, I, again, I'd like to say my last name is Napier, not Napper. <laughs> well, I I hear it I hear it pronounced <laughs> so many different ways. Okay, Napier. Okay, I'll 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 get it right, James. But, Come on, uh, give me a break. This is early morning. Hey Jack, I hear you, buddy. But it's got <laughs> that uh, it's got that French appeal to it. It's like Napier, and it, 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 it's not Napper, but. You know me. I, I just keep it real. So I would like to also say that even though I have been doing what I do, uh, I'm not doing it alone. You know, it, there's no I in team. And if it wasn't for people like uh, I originally said, I'll leave it at Miss Kimberly. But uh, Miss Kimberly Davis right there in Tennessee, she has helped pull some amazing strings. And she's uh, she's, she, she's a... It's nice to have such as that on the team, you know, just as well as yourself, because some of the phone calls that have come come this way on behalf of this situation, this child, and this quote-unquote family taking a stand for Jessica, it's an honor on behalf of Dirt Road Life as well as Rocker Tone Records with Mr. Eric Mellencamp to say, brother, I ain't doing this by myself. It's a whole lot of uh, more than me, and there's no way I could do it alone. And even if I was, I'm not alone because I, I bring, you know, that part of that dirt road, the, the truest one that walked the dirt road of all. And if it wasn't for the good Lord above, I reckon probably I wouldn't be here. But at the end of the day, 
I, I surely wouldn't be having doors of opportunity opening and arising just to have them closed in my face. I originally said that I do what I do from the shadows, and I've done it pretty well. And if I had to come out in the shadows for this child, I'll do it, but I'm going to be raised in hell. There you go. This, this kid, the story's got to be told, and people have heard the word right here on this very line as you did that, that original time. When the devil tried us and we had to do it again, you know, at the end of the day, I don't care. No is not acceptable. And for the situation of this child, yeah, I, I may get run out of town. I may get banished from Nashville, but I'll tell you this, they'll remember this child's birthday. That's for sure. In fact, the uh, entire fundraising event is on her birthday. And uh, I'm hoping not only do you jam pack the venue you have set up, but I told everybody, let's let's make that line five blocks long to get people to be there. And I know uh, for a fact that, you know, Jessica's father and Jessica are probably elated about all the outpouring of support in all of that. But I, you know, once again, I encourage everybody out there. It doesn't stop just with this fundraising event. It doesn't stop there. It won't stop till, as I always put it, the fat lady sings, and that fat lady won't sing until Jessica walks out of this rehabilitation center under her own power. And uh, you know, you know something. <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I hate to be rude. Go ahead. I want to throw, wanna throw something in there. You know, you you asked me for a little something, something. And, and and I tell you, for what you just said, I'm going to give you a little something, something. And, and, you know, because you do what you do with the, the record version of YouTube, we might as well go ahead and tell the world a little something, something. Because at the end of the day, when you walk in the dirt road life way, there's a lot of people that can come walking in from any dissension, and you never know who's walking down that dirt road. But here's your new hot. Nobody's heard. But the ones that know, they know. And they'll be more than happy to tell you. But at the end of the day, sir, here's my moment. Go for it. Do it. This child, she's going to have the opportunity. It has already been talked about with Miss Myla Mason, and I believe she's going to probably be on the air with you tomorrow. You can discuss it with her, but um, there's going to be an opportunity where Miss Jessica Shane Bird is going to be brought into a certain unnamed at this point, but there's, she's going to come into a certain professional recording studio in Nashville area. She's going to be recorded with the likes of Myla Mason and a few extra, well, let's just say there ain't no telling who's going to come out to come out the shadows of this here dirt road, but this child's fixing to record, and if that don't give her a little, a little pep in her step, well, I'll send some friends down there to Atlanta, Georgia, to tell them, tell them now, here's the thing. When when that song is cut, when that song is cut, we get a copy of it to air it right here, right? That's correct, but I'd like to, I'd like to clarify one thing before I go any further about this whole situation. The whole situation started with the transportation and the need of getting her away from outdated equipment and a very heavy environment to this child that she did not want. And because of a Tennessee situation that I'm not going to discuss with insurance, but I will say that, you know, something happened right here on this line, and I don't know who heard what and who did what, whether it be people in the likes of like, I mean, it'd be great if someone like Martha Ingram had made a call, but at the end of the day, I don't know who did what, but I can tell you this, y'all, y'all, y'all got some listeners somewhere, and I'm pretty sure God's throwing it to the line. So, you know, the the whole purpose of everything we're doing is not just to now, quote, unquote, recognize she's on her way to Atlanta. It's not about transportation now. It's about furtherment of the need in Vanderbilt as well as other hospitals. She's going to be presented back to the world when she's done with her little song as somewhat of a spokesman because she has rallied so many for transverse myelitis. We're going to give her an opportunity to come back to you guys. And when that song is recorded, I'll let her present it to you. 
Hey, that would be an honor on our part, definitely. And once again, I want to tell everybody, you know, James is right. You know, this is, you know, Jessica already, Jessica and her dad already came on my program on uh, a, a Thursday. And, uh, you know, we talked about, you know, what they were going to do once Jessica leaves the hospital. And both of them said right out, they are going to go to the forefront. They are going to be very outspoken in reference to this this travesty of an illness that hardly anybody has ever heard of this transverse mellitus they've already said that they are going to be a uh, spearheading a you know whatever it takes to get the message out there and i i want i am definitely when jessica gets out of the out of the rehab center i want to get around my show no doubt about it because we want to, you know, help her get her on her on the right foot. But everybody out there right now, Jessica and her dad need your support. They're a long way away from what they need, and I'm encouraging once again. I want you to go to their GoFundMe account. It's GoFundMe.com forward slash K H eight R S K. Or the simplest way to do it is go to any U S bank. That's right, any U S bank anywhere in the country. And tell them I want to make a donation to the Jessica Shaneberg Fund. I guarantee you, folks, every dime helps. And if it wasn't for guys like James and everybody in Nashville who is pulling together and people from around the world, and I can attest to that one, pulling together, you know, we're showing, we're showing the world that this child needs our help. And eventually we're going to be branching this out to everybody. Now, James, you know the the one thing you know. Uh, granted, we're, we're, we play a we play a very tiny part in just simply getting the message out there for you, you know. And I'm and I'm proud of our ability to do that for you. And but the thing that I have to ask is, and I know it's going to sound like I'm being repetitious, you know, from the first time we talked. How did you yourself, very the first time, hear about Jessica's plight? Meaning how, how I found out about her situation? Yes, sir. ABC News, WKRN, a certain friend, and I seen it before it, it went to the public, and I researched the name after hearing, reading the story. On Facebook, my easiest asset at that point being behind the wheel of an 18-wheeler. And there was a mutual friend. I reached out to Mr. Eric Mellencamp of Rocket Tone Records. And I said, hey, Jack, <laughs> you know this man? He's like, no. Then I said, well, he worked over here at the stockyard. Oh, yeah, Jeff, what's wrong? And I told him, he said, well, you, you're on your way to Nashville? I said, well, no, sir, I was on the way home. Been gone for three weeks. But. So that that's I mean, that, that's how you initially kind of. And he asked me to deliver a message. And I mean, everybody I knew was running south to get away from the high storm that weekend. And I mailed off in it for this girl because of a friend. You know, this is this is the thing. You know, we're talking. You know, friendships. We're talking family. It's it's like uh, the entire music industry is pulling together, and we would love to see more people uh, pull together and contact James about this. Now, the easiest way for anyone that wants to get involved, that needs to get involved. How do they go about the, the best way to contact you? Is it by telephone, by email, and if so, how? Well, there's several ways, I guess. You know, if they really, 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 really need to contact me uh, verbally, I would ask them to contact you because you're quick to throw your information out there. And they, they'd they be welcome to have my cell phone number. You're more than welcome to, you know give my phone number to someone that contacts you in that situation. Other than that, I'm basically, uh, and I live in the glass house, I'm right there on Facebook under James for the kids Napier, and I mean, 
I'll answer any questions of any situation that I'm affiliated with at any God-given moment that I have someone ask me if they can help. And that's basically what everyone has been doing is saying, how can I help? You know, there was a time that I tried it my way and I went to them. And God told, laughed at me, told me, you know, this is how we do it. And I sat back and, hey, Jack, I've been walking the dog and kicking the cat, doing it like this, but now I'm doing it like, I'm no longer doing it like that. God's got control of this situation. And that he does. And, uh, you know, for anyone out there that wants to contact us right here at the studio and learn more information about it, you can send an email to kkrp1610 at yahoo.com or call 918-966-2391 from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Central Time. We'll get, we'll pass on James's information to you. And, uh, you know, we're encouraging everybody. You know, this is vital. This is vital. You get behind this. I don't want you sitting on your ass with your finger up your butt saying, oh, the next guy is going to do it. Don't depend on the yeah, next guy. Let me say this uh, before I, before I get cut off because I'm facing to have to catch another call as you well know but um, go to dirt road life you know they got the salt life the swamp life they got all these type of lives but at the end of the day there's only one way and to me it's that dirt road life it's the founder Miss Georgia Clark a uh, retired federal prisoner uh, guard down there in Jessup Georgia and uh, she can very easily get a hold to me as well as, uh, well, she she knows my true ethics and morals of the dirt road life. And it being that man that wore that crown of thorns and those two slabs of timber that it was toted so well, they tried him on the dirt road life. And he's still walking the dog and kicking at the cat. You know, dirt road life is tried and true. But at the end of the day, We've been through, and we're still going through this situation. Dirt Road Life's about friends, family, fellowship, fun, and at the end of the day, if we get to kick it your way and have a fundraiser, we'll do that deal. Now, I know you've got to go because you said you got a phone call you have to make here. You know, and, uh, you know, I once again, I want to get you back on here Friday uh, it, to you know, give us a wrap up of who's going to be on this ticket. Will you do that for us, James? Friday, you, you you let me know Thursday, and I mean, I can give you some names right now. I'll give you five. There's there's many more, but I'll give you five. Two uh, of them, I believe you're going to be sp- speaking to tomorrow. Uh, legendary songwriter, Mr. Chris Gantry, and Miss. Dark Horse herself, Miss Myla Mason. Uh, I'll give you Mr. Joe Rucker. I'll give you Mr. Guy Nix. And I'll give you one more even. I'll give you Mr. Chaz Wesley. So there's going to be several more to go with that name. Oh, I'll give you one more. I'll give you Mr. Sean Hamilton. But at the end of the day, there's still many more. And when you talk about family stepping up, to the true blue hit concepts of what the public don't know yet at the end of the day hey Jack hold on grab grab hope to the to, it's the dirt road man there you go alright alright All right, James I know you've got a scoot thank you for bringing us an update talk with you soon buddy I appreciate everything you guys have done you guys are part of the team and you know we love you alright take care James we'll talk to you later All right, now, you heard it from the man himself. You heard it from the man himself. Get behind this. Get behind this. I, I, if you don't get behind this, you're going to kick yourself and uh, took us all the way from here to holy Hades. Yeah, because, uh, you know, we're, we're off times, off times. What we do today reflects on what happens tomorrow, and today we need your help. Uh, once again, I want you all, everybody, Go to GoFundMe.com forward slash K-H-8-R-S-K. Make a donation there. Or go to any U.S. bank anywhere in the country. Tell them you want to make a donation to the Jessica Shaneberg Fund. You know, he's right. I have two special guests coming on tomorrow. Myla Mason is definitely one of them. 
Oh boy, I'm gonna have a blast. I, I, I'm, I'm, I can't wa wait for the, for these two to come on. Chris Gantry is gonna be with me, and then, uh, you know, you never know what's gonna happen between now and Friday when James comes back. And I'm encouraging all my friends, on all my Facebook friends, on uh, nearly uh, over, huh, over 1,000. If everybody, if every single one of my friends uh, donated even ten dollars, you know what? That would put them well up and beyond the call of duty. And I'm encouraging all my listeners. I'm encouraging everybody that know that has liked me on Facebook. You know, please make a donation. Help Jessica. Help Jeff. They can't do this without you. She's got a long road to go. And today is step one. She's being finally transferred to Atlanta to get this all done. I mean, things... You know, as you heard James say, you know, uh, on Friday she was scheduled to go, but there was a little problem. But uh, she's on her way today. Thank God for small favors, you know, as I say in, in my book. But this ain't over. This ain't over. And we're doing our part any way we can. Now I'm encouraging you. I'm asking, I'm telling you, I'm demanding you to do something now to be part of this. To be part of this because without you it's not going to be possible she's only a little over halfway there on her goal only a little over halfway and once again i want to remind you if you're going to be in the nashville area on the 7th starting at 3 p.m you better show up to the doghouse saloon right there in nashville i know for a fact Mila mason is going to be there I know for fact that Chris Gantry is going to be there. I know for fact everybody's favorite, Jimmy Parker, is going to be there. I know that for a fact. I also know other artists that are, you know, might be there. And uh, I have to thank everybody that I've called and, uh, you know, that is going to be there. You know, you guys are great. You guys are making this happen. You're banding together. You're showing Nashville. You're showing the world. Jessica and people that are in Jessica's position cannot and will never be forgotten. Transverse mellitus affects only 1,000 people a year. And it is such a devastating disease. It affects the spinal cord, causing paralysis in some cases, causing much more in other cases it has to be treated it has to be you know we have to get her back on her feet we have to get her back on her feet and have her walk out of that atlanta clinic on her own power you can do it you can make it happen let's bring jessica back to full health and then and then Let's give this very talented, very ta intelligent young lady the chance at music. She has that chance. You heard James here on the program say that the minute she walks out of that clinic, that guess what, or that rehab center, they're going to cut a song. They're going to cut. She's going to be part of it. This, this is a young lady giving back more, more ways than one. Cour courage beyond belief she's a rock and has the optimism and excitement as anyone would I, I wish I had half of the optimism that she has but I guess uh, in my case uh, you know seeing what the world has done so many times and turned her back so many times I guess I'm I'm getting cynical you know and that might oft times kind of reflect into what I talk about because of my cynicism you can make it happen you must make it happen let's help Jessica let's help everyone in her situation overcome this disease but we got to start somewhere let's start with Jessica <laughs> And with that, it is time for me to get out of here. Stay tuned because coming up next all the way until 4 o'clock this afternoon, Ed Till will be with you. So until tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., this is Bob Williams. 
take care of yourselves.